Then her motto Yoshi is you. You got a mind like a steel trap, lady. My four young wards nicknamed me Splinter for obvious reasons. What's up, collectors? P Rockzilla back again for another review this week, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the San Diego Comic Con event exclusive NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon pre-mutation four pack. And this four pack, you get Splinter, Baxter, Bebop, and Rocksteady before they mutated to their animal forms. So you have all of them in their human forms in this pack, and you get that beautiful kind of VHS cartoon packaging right there you get a little side box right there i love the way NECA packages the cartoon turtles because the package looks just like a freaking just like the cartoon like something you would pull out from the cartoon or if you had the vhs back in the days one of the pictures you probably would see in the back of the box the box of the vhs so as always i'm excited to get anything ninja turtles in my collection as i'm a huge ninja turtle fan and that's one of the reasons i still collect NECA is because of ninja turtles that's basically the main reason i still collect the NECA is ninja turtles but I'm excited to get these, these guys open and in my display, so let's get the review started. Dial it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the nice packaging that NECA did for this pack. As you can see there, you got Splinter, Baxter, Bebop Rocksteady in a cartoon form before they became their mutated versions. Got the computer screen there. You got some pretty cool poses you can get the figures in. And some of the accessories they do come with in the package. A little sticky note right there. Ninja Turtles logo. Nickelodeon. And then all the people who took, who had anything to do with the figure. <clears throat> excuse me. Clear my throat real quick. And all the legal information in the bottom. And then once you get in the front, you can pull this flap down. And you get this cool little somewhat diorama type piece. It has a street or lab. That's actually a uh, Baxter's lab. And then from there, you can see the figures. And in the background, you can actually see Baxter's lab also. That's why I say it's pretty cool how NECA packages these figures. I love that. Uh, one, this is one of the good things I like about the smaller scale figures. I can just go basically swing by my store. This has basically order. I got this through the when NECA was at San Diego Comic Con. They basically went live and they opened the pre order for about five minutes. So I was able to actually just luck. I was watching at the time and. I was able to get a pre-order, so I got a pre-order. But all the other stuff I normally get at my local Target, all the cartoon stuff. And it's always cool seeing the packaging. All right, so let's get all these figures out the box. So once you get the figures out the box, we'll get the box out the way. You're greeted with the clamshell. And on the clamshell, as you can see there, you got all the accessories that come with the figures. The back layer has all the hands, and you have all the figures right there. Nice, clean setup, nice layout, so easy where you can see every accessory. So, all right, let's go ahead and get these guys out so we can take a close look at it. the figures and all the accessories in good detail. So there we got the four of them laid out with all the accessories that come in the package. And I got to say, there's a lot of things in here. So, of course, let's take a look at the figures first. So as you can see here, this is Baxter before he becomes mutated into the fly. I always forgot how he looked in the cartoons. I kind of actually, when I started watching on YouTube, unfortunately, because I can't. I don't think there's a streaming service that has the original Ninja Turtle cartoons. I gotta buy those. But as you can see, it is one thing I love. At first, it kind of bothered me, but I got used to it. Now I actually love it. Like the car, kind of like, you know, cell shaded lines here. They do with the pen. I always like the way that looks right there now. Makes it look like, you know, came out right out of the cartoon. So this definitely looks like Baxter Stockman. Now, I'm going to go over the articulation. Now, if you know any any NECA figures, you know, their articulations are usually hit or miss because a lot of times you got to preheat the joints be, to loosen the paint up because the paint gets stuck in between those joints. As you can see, there's white. So I guarantee when I start moving this once in a while, you're going to start seeing some of the plastic under there unless it, the plastic is white. But let's look at the articulation in the head. So Baxter can do a 360 if you want him to. I have bad luck with that, so I don't do that anymore. He can look very far down. He can look decent amount far up. He can go sideways. The arms can go full 360, but like I said, I'm not going to do that. But he can go all the way up with the arms. Let's see if I can get these joints to move. Alright, they're tight. So that's so how you can do a T pose. 
see so if i get something that's like these right here are too tight i'm gonna have to warm that up so that's too tight already as it is and then mine's came with the elbows and everything all kind of jacked up there we go all right so i got that let's see if i can bend his elbows so he does get double bend as you can see from the joint there too it's just mine's is tight so that's another joint i'm gonna have to uh, loosen up as you can see the paint coming off already i already said that so yeah, so uh, to bend that, warm that up and bend it up. So you do get pivot at the wrist. You get turn at the wrist. You do get swivel at the elbow. And at the shoulders. But most of it is at the elbow. Ugh, dang. Same thing here. Let me see if I can test these real quick. Yep, so I got to warm up that other one too right there. See there, all that paint coming off already. All right, so that's good there. The jacket is like a soft pla plastic, so it's very malleable. You can move it around. So let's see if you, you do get very good waist. You can do 360 at the waist if you wanted to. You can move sideways at the waist. Do a little dance. Make a little... No, I'm playing. All right, so he can go fr pretty far back just because the lab coat kind of ho hold him back a little bit. And he could go a decent amount forward with the ab crunch. The legs, he can do a split. He's got to move the jacket up a little bit more. So he could do some of a split. And then he can go pretty far up. And with the jacket, same thing, kind of hindering that. So can't go too far back. And then you can bend the knees right there. And then same thing with the arm. You do get double bend. It's just mine's, I got to warm up because they're pretty tight. Then you get this one, move it up. You can see that this one bends more on that part. As you can see there, you can get an idea of how the bend will be. So, yep, definitely got to warm up this guy to loosen up those joints. Then you get the sneakers there. You can... No, nope, can they? No, nope, you can go. You cannot swivel. You can pivot. That one's tight, but this one you can see you can pivot. I gotta fix that one. As you can see, it looks kind of funky right now. And then you can move the feet that far up, and then they can go pretty far down. All right, so I was expecting that, so I gotta warm up some of these joints to get them nice and loose. So, all right, let's move on to the next figure. Actually, this is his accessories. See, real quickly. So he does come with the net, some gadgets. I forgot the name of these real quick. Sorry, I apologize about that. I'm pretty sure I can watch the old cartoons and pull them up real quick. This is one of the, one of my favorite gadgets that I mean accessory he comes with, and that's the shrunken turtles. This is gonna look cool. You see the hole in the top right there, so that looks real good. And then of course he comes with a mouser. And let's see if the mouth opens. Yep, mouth does open. And you get some articulation at the legs. Paint is pretty stiff on him too, so be careful. As you can see, the mouth does open and close. No swivel. I don't want to test my luck. So the muscle looks real good too. The, the paint in the bottom, you can tell it's like the shadow. So the muscle looks good. Now... We're going to take a look at Master Splinter. So as you can see here, Master Splinter looks just like the cartoon. The same cartoon shading all the way through. Here, as you can see, my ankles are a little funky on this one. So I know I'm going to warm that up to get that more poseable. So, yep, here we have Master Splinter. So, let's try his accessory. I mean, his articulation. So, he could do a 360. I just, like I said, I'm not going to try. Ooh, almost had an issue going backwards. See? That's why I don't want to do it. All right. So, he can look pretty far down. Pretty far up. Can get somewhat sideways pivot on the head, as you can see. The arms do go all the way up the jacket is the same as baxter's uh 
lab coat. It's nice, soft, malleable plastic, so you can kind of work your way around that for the articulation. And it does untuck as you do that, if you notice. So his shirt will untuck and show a little belly in the bottom. A little mid-drift. That can easily be fixed by just putting the hands down and moving this back down around here. There you go. All right, and then uh, his can go further up too. So you can do the T pose right there. But once again, you do see the jacket does move up. The robe does move up and you can see the midriff there. The elbows do articulate. This one is not double jointed. Unlike Baxter, he's not double jointed. And this one's stiff. Yeah, but that do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to warm that one up. So you do get pivot at the shoulder and a little bit at the elbow not much all right dang those arms are tight it's a lot of hot water today all right so at the waist you could do full 360 he can swivel a little bit but like i said you do the jacket does come up the legs uh oh that felt kind of funky there all right i guess that was good all right as you can see there, I gotta readjust his legs there. But he can come on somewhat do a split. Legs can go pretty far forward. This is not as soft as the roll top roll portion, so it's not as forgiving, so it does hinder some articulation. Let's give it ugh, dang those knees. Let's see if we can get these bended without breaking. Yep, I'm not taking a chance on that one. That's too tight. We can try this one. Yeah, those are tight too. All right, yep, I want to get some big pots of hot water today. All right, so that's, that's can't, unfortunately, can't sort of articulation there. Not at this moment. And then the shins do swivel, so you do get some swivel of the shins. The ankles, this one's pretty messed up. Oh, let's see, I could go pretty far down on his foot. And pretty not much far up. And you do, oh, you, yeah, you do get some pivot. Yep, it is pivot. Oh, no, so I fixed it just by articulating it. So you do get some pivot at it. All right, so Master Splinter, let's look at his accessories. You do get his little bow staff. Painted pretty good, looks like wood. And another cool one that I do love is the bow. You get the bow, you know, you do get the seam lines there, which kind of sucks, but hey, what's the neck of figure? What do you expect? I'm not saying neck is bad, I'm just saying it's the lower end lower price figures compared to six scale and then what i do love is you get the four turtles separately let's put this right here so you can zoom in on that and you do get the four turtles right there what's cool is you can basically have them out the bowl or you just basically put them all in the bowl so that's cool all right let's look at bebop real quick bebop what I do like is in the movies, the live action one, they kind of kept it where he is African American. So that was cool. You see B by here. It's weird because you see B by here and then you see Rocksteady. And you would think the other way around. You would think he would turn to the pig as the body shape and he would turn to the rhino. As you can see, you got the boots on there, the straps hanging off. The straps are. Some are soft plastic, but if you, I can tell if you move too much, they will kind of stress and break off. Okay, so let's look at the articulation on Bebop. His head can move at the neck, and then you get at the th bottom of the, th the neck and the bottom of the head of your articulation there, so he can look good. He can look pretty far down. Even with the collar of the jacket, he can look pretty far up. The collar is the soft metal plastic, just like Baxter's lab coat. And splinters roll. The arms, let's see, these are tight. Try to get these up. He could do the T pose. Not double jo jointed elbows on him, just single jointed. But his joints so far are smoother. You get pivot at the elbow. There you go. And let's see how far up you can go with the arms. You can go pretty far up, pretty far back. Waist articulation, you do get good waist articulation with them. You do get swivel. Uh, not much bent forward. A little bit bent back. Actually, no, he gets pretty good bend, back bend. 
the legs. I see the legs. His legs. Dang, I've all them so far. He's the best articulator. Smoother articulation on the joints. Somewhat split. Let's go down smooth. Oh, oh I talked too soon. Now the knees. Oh, I jinxed myself. All right, so I'm going to warm that one. Same thing with this. Oh, this one's moving. So you do get double jointed knees. It's just I'm going to have to warm up these knees to kind of get that second articula point of articulation. All right, so Bebop does have some good articulation. You see the boots, the boots. Do not swivel. You do not get swivel at his legs or his thighs. And the boots can go pretty far up, his foot, and pretty far down. Does that have swivel? Uh, nope, not really. All right, so there goes Bebop. And then he comes with spray can. Bat. And a crowbar. All right, let's go for Rocksteady. This is Rocksteady. I forgot how you look. It's been a while since I watched them in the cartoons. Now, mind you can see already, I got I don't know if that leg supposed to be that angle. I can't adjust it, so I don't know. We'll see. So here we go. Looks just like the cartoon version. Love the paint on there. A different type of color tones right here. All right, so let's go for the articulation. He can doesn't seem like he can do three sixty, but he can move pretty good to sideways. He has very good pivot. He can look pretty far up. These guys all have pretty good uh, head articulation. He can look very far down. The arms, his feel tight. Don't feel like as smooth as B bubs. And so it looks like his elbows are kind of already made in that angle a little bit. All right, so he can he cannot do a T pose. At least I can't get him in a T pose. And then you get swivel at the elbow. I mean, if you want to do it like this, you can kind of technically call that a T pose. So he does get swivel at the elbow. Yeah, look at that paint. Watch that paint peel off. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh, look at that paint peel off. Oh yeah. So that's the problem with NECA. Like they're instead of using the plastic of the color, they just paint right over it and then it just dries. This is why they're you know most times why the joints are so tight. You gotta warm it up and get that paint loose in order to get it moving. But anyways, you get single bend. You don't get double bend at the elbow. On. Look at that paint. On rock steady. Let's see if they can move up. Arms can move pretty far up. Pretty far back. Let's do the waist articulation. He has decent waist articulation. Almost like rock steady. Oh, I'm sorry, bebop, but not as smooth. He cannot do any kind of back bend and a little bit forward the legs as you can see one of my legs are crooked so i'm not sure it's supposed to be that way or just the way it was you can see in there i'm gonna see if i can warm that up and make this kind of as i have to twist this in more so this could be in more line with that one but can move pretty far forward pretty far back he can actually pretty do a decent bend and split the knees, looks like you got double joint there, but I guarantee they're not going to move. Nope, see? Nope, so I can't move this one, so let's try this one. Nope, those either. All right. They do have double bend, double articulation there, so they should bend good once you warm them up. The feet can move pretty decent up. A decent amount down. And do they pivot a little bit? All right, so there goes... Rocksteady. And Rocksteady does come with a spray can also. I'm sorry, I think the Bebop comes with the boom box, but here's the boom box. It comes with a stick. Pretty nice scope there at the end of the stick. And then he does come with the chain. Real chain. And just to save time, they all come with the same, basically the same hand and sex tree. So I'm not going to go through, or hand swap out. So I'm not going to go through all those. You can see here what they are. Whew, that was a lot. All right. So let's go ahead and get size comparison started. Okay, so there we have the four packs. Staying here default, just as they came out the package, pose, ready for size comparison. So of course, I want to go ahead and bring in another NECA figure. And this is going to be the NECA cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Leonardo. So 
there we have Leonardo in the picture. Then I want to go ahead and bring in something different. This is the Masco Old Man Logan 112 figure. So there we have the Mesco Old Man Logan. And then I want to bring in a 3-0 Transformers Siege Megatron. So there we have Megatron in the picture. And let me see if I can just squeeze one more in there. And this is going to be the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta. Let's see if I can squeeze Vegeta right in there. And he gets in there a little bit. All right, so there we go. A good size of ensemble of figures for a good size comparison. As you can see, you got many options if you have any of these figures, how these fi this figure or this four pack will fit in your collection or in your display. All right, so let's go ahead and get the si final thoughts and final poses. So now I have all four poses and somewhat a pose. I would see them doing a cartoon. Um, I didn't heat up any of the joints on BB on Rock City just yet in these poses. Uh, Baxter, I just started adjusting his joints a little bit more firmly. Like kind of putting a little more tension on it safely. And his joints were able to pose so far without using the hot water trick. With Master Splinter, I definitely needed to put those knees into the hot water for at least 15 seconds. Because even to now, if you look at that left leg, that double joint is not able to fully bend so i kind of had to pose that way um so definitely need to warm up the joints for most of these figures just mess around with them first and if you feel too much tension do not put pr too much pressure on them as that can basically cause them to kind of you know break the joint or you can basically put a lot of stress on that joint so just definitely warm them up if you feel too much tension and then once you warm them up just put them warm, warm them up for about 10 seconds dip them in the water for about 10 seconds 10 15 seconds Take them out, dry them, and start bending those joints softly, like easily, and you will get them to get the joints to bend the way they're supposed to bend. On most times. Not all the time, but most times you will. But they do look good together. I want to make sure I get some poses with each accessory they do come in. So I'm going to go ahead and get two more final poses, and I'll talk about the negatives on the next one. It looks like Master Splinter's in trouble. So as you can see also, I was able to get most of the joints bent. The hot water trick did work, um, it, all except for Splinter, that left leg that's kind of the more dominant going towards forward. I couldn't get that one joint underneath the knee fully bent, so that's still one of the issues I have and kind of what the issue is for these figures and for this pack. But then again, if you're a NECA collector, you know coming in that this is more likely, a, it's a high chance that you're going to get a pack or a figure with bad joints you know you know you're gonna have to warm up the joints before you start moving them if you start feeling any tension when you're moving the figures around so i can't really knock it too much as a negative because unfortunately that's something that we NECA collectors come to expect when we get these figures but sometimes you're lucky and you get some that don't have any issues like out of the four right here i'll say maybe uh baxter and bebop i had the least amount of issues i wanted to display them with their pre-mutation form along with their mutated form so as you can see we got Baxter right there both pre-mutation human and fly we got Splinter human and rat we got Rocksteady human and Rhino and then coming around the corner we got Bebot human and Warhog now I know some of the costumes I mean not costumes some of the outfits on some of these don't match up to what the Mutation form looks like you gotta remember in the cartoons things did change a little bit and they wore different things as the cartoons went on But the in general overall look like the you know basic look of them is resembling each other and I love the way these guys came out um, I wouldn't say this is a must-have this is more for me This was a more of a must-have for me because I have a lot probably most of the versions of Bebop or Rocksteady and I actually forgot how they looked like when they were humans in the cartoon. When I watched a new movie recently, the Michael Bay one, unfortunately, I watched it recently when they showed them in part two in human form. I was I was always wondering, so I went back and actually saw it. And when I saw them in human form in the cartoon, I it brought back memories, and I was like, all right, I gotta get this pack. So when I heard about this pack, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't at San Diego Comic Con. I was hoping to get somebody out there to get it for me, but I do know that New York Comic Con. They normally sell the same things they sell at San Diego Comic Con when it comes to NECA. So, 
I knew I had a chance to get it at New York Comic Con, but like I said, lucky enough, I was able to watch the San Diego Comic Con live feed from NECA, and they opened up the pre-orders then, and I was able to get it. So thankfully, I was able to get these guys early. Either way, I was going to get them at New York Comic Con, so I'm happy with the purchase. I'm happy I got them on regular time instead of waiting a couple of months, and I'm happy the way they came out. To me, this is a good pack to pick up. Especially if you like, uh, if you're a Bebop Rocksteady fan, and I love seeing the fact that it does come with Splinter in human form. Baxter was one of my characters that I wasn't really a huge fan of, but I enjoy Baxter, so that's like a plus for me. The accessories are a plus also. They come with a lot of accessories and cool accessories also, so this is definitely a good pickup. Not a must, but a good pickup if you're a Turtle fan. And if you are going to your Comic Con, just remember, this should be there when you go there so you didn't miss out completely all right collectors if you enjoyed this review please hit that like subscribe click that bell notification button and as always keep collecting stay safe be good dolly